The day began with a standoff. Riot police on one side of the razor wire, several thousand chanting protesters on the other. Bahrain's leaders had already withdrawn army tanks and troops under pressure from Western leaders following a violent crackdown on Thursday. But the demonstrators weren't impressed. Every police request for them to leave was met with chants of, we are peaceful. Then, without warning, the riot police beat a hasty retreat. The crowd surged forward. A cheering, placard-waving river of people took back Pearl Square. Even they could hardly believe it. The victory is about democracy. If we, we want to be no less than what uh, democratic people in the West, the democracy they enjoy. There is no indication their demands will be met, but today they were enjoying the moment. For the protesters, this is the victory for which all the blood was shed. Control of Pearl Square gives them a focal point for their demands. But one of those demands is for the removal of the ruling dynasty. And the troops weren't pulled out to let that happen. Even as the square was being reclaimed, riot police fired rubber bullets and tear gas at another group heading for the celebrations. At least 60 people were reported injured. Despite the violence and the number of deaths this week, repression no longer intimidates. We have been given a promises. We've seen our own people die. The Bahraini blood on this floor, we are not going to be quiet. As night fell, Pearl Square was anything but quiet. Thousands came to celebrate their symbolic victory and press the point that they are prepared to camp out to push their demands for radical change. Tonight, perhaps taking a page from the protesters who organized themselves on social networking systems, the government's Ministry of Information tonight put out a Twitter message saying that the Crown Prince was engaged in dialogue with opposition members. It's not clear, however, who they are or what form that dialogue is taking. Russ? Alan, from what you're hearing, what is the government's next move? They have to talk. And it seems like the Crown Prince is the one that the public will trust if they trust anybody in the royal family. They say they don't trust them, but the Crown Prince does have some credibility. He's in his 40s, and that's the way they're going to have to go. I don't see that they have any other way out of this. Alan Pizzi joining us via Skype from Bahrain. Thank you.